Here is a pair of the Raycon Everyday Earbuds. I'm going to show you how to pair and connect these directly to a MacBook or iMac via Bluetooth. So first thing, let's make sure the buds are in the case. Let's close this and let's go right to our MacBook or our iMac. And we want to go to the Bluetooth settings, okay? So you can go up here and click on the Apple logo, top left-hand side. And we're going to go down to System Settings. Now, over here, we want to go to Bluetooth. So go down here and go to Bluetooth right there, okay? Now, you see under Nearby Devices, that little spinny thing, is searching for devices that has pairing mode near me. So once this is in pairing mode, it should pop up here, okay? So we have the buzz in here. Let's open these up. And if it goes into pairing mode, it'll pop up down here. And you'll know uh, it's in pairing mode when one of these buds are blinking blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. But mine's not blinking blue, red, blue, red. And that's because I have it currently paired to one of my phones, okay? So if I look at my phone here, I got the Raycon Everyday Buds here. So what I can do from here is the iPhone too. I can tap on that eye. I can disconnect or I can um, forget this device. If I disconnect, it'll go into pairing mode. If I forget this uh, device, it'll also go into pairing mode. The difference is if I disconnect, it'll go into pairing mode, then I can connect to my MacBook here. But when I go back to my iPhone here and I play music or something to do uh, with sound, it'll play on here, or if I play it on the MacBook, it'll go on the MacBook and vice versa. It's basically like a multi-point uh, connection. Or if you just wanna forget everything, just forget the device and it only be paired to only to here. But I'm just gonna disconnect and as soon as I disconnect, there we go. Red, blue, red, blue. It's only on one of the buds, okay? So let's go back on here. What do you know? Raycon Everyday Buds. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna click on connect. And now you can see it's connected right there. So now I can use this on my MacBook, but I disconnected. So if I go back onto my iPhone, I go to YouTube or listen to music or whatnot, then it's going to go back to this one. And then I go back to my MacBook and I play something and then it'll be paired back to my MacBook. Anyway, I hope that helped you guys out.